high definition. Patrick Byers joins us today from the University of Missouri Extension. Patrick, thank you so much for hey, joining us today as always, and uh, you're here to talk about some daylilies. Yeah, this is one of my favorite garden flowers, and it's the daylily, and it's just a beautiful plant, of course, but I like it also because it's easy to care for. Okay, now, why are they uh, so easy to care for? Well, daylilies are basically pest-free. There are a few issues that can sometimes show up. There's a, a, a bug, for example, that might cause problems, but in general, they're tough plants. Okay. You plant them, the... the uh, display of blossoms gets better each year that goes by and they're also easy to divide you just dig the things up pull them apart and share them with your friends that's it that's, that's all you it. have to do that's it you're not going to worry about trying to damage the plant no, or they're, they're tough plants and okay and again you know one of the things i like is there's such variety with daylilies and when we look yeah. at them you know we have the the traditional daylily form here this one here is what's called a spider daylily and then we have a double daylily over here with this orange one. So, again, just there's a daylily for everyone. Well, and even the colors that you have here, there's also a lot of variety with that. The yellows and the yellows, like the reds, and golds, and the oranges. And the dark colored ones. And then there's col uh, flowers that have more than one color in the flower, like we see here. So, again, just beautiful flowers. Okay, now when should I begin to uh, plant the daylilies? Generally, you start your daylily bed in the spring. So, you know, buy good quality plants, plant them in the spring. They're pretty forgiving as far as the side, as long as it's in full sun and the soil is well drained. Okay, so if people wanted to try that right now, would they still be okay to do that, or maybe? You or... can still plant daylilies now, and in fact, when you dig them and divide them, a good time to do that is when they're done blooming. Okay, I mean our weather really hasn't been that hot, this so the been... that maybe to the plant it doesn't even. Wait, we're at summer. This has, been a, this has been a good daylily season, uh -huh. and I did want to put a plug in for the daylily display garden at okay. the uh, Springfield Botanical Center. It's just gorgeous right now, so if you like daylilies, come on out to the uh, Botanical Center and see the garden. Well, I mean, the Botanical Center is a great place anyway. Yeah, you want to see flowers, place. you just get ideas maybe for your own. Maybe for your own house, exactly. a great place for that. And uh, where can people find you guys? Uh, we, we are located at the uh, Botanical Center. You can also visit us online. Our, our uh, website is extension.missouri.edu backslash green. Or give us a call at 881-8909. Perfect, Patrick. Thank you so much for Thank coming you, on here today. You brought in a, a pretty flower. Shannon? Oh, wow. I'm going to match your dress. I'm okay. going to give you this flower. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and you're